In this lesson, we're going to be understanding versioning in new guess. Okay, so what we have here is your 09 underscore begin HROX file. So I saved it here on the main area, this main project, um, in a and put that in your project files, but we still have the old version of the street level. So watch what happens if I go into this comp, you can see that this might be a little disconcerting because we don't have our other project in here and the nodes that we created and merged in. That can be a little worrisome, but the problem is that we need to come out here to our timeline and version it up. Now there's a couple ways we can do that. I can hit the V key and look at the different versions that are available. So I've got my um, version one and I can select this and hit Alt and hit the up arrow key to move to a new version. And you can see that now this is version two. And you can see that it isn't going to allow me to um, view any of these frames because it now sees this as a comp that has had changes to it. Whereas here it knows nothing is different from what we see underneath these. So that's why we're able to see that even though it hasn't been rendered. Now you'll notice this little project bar here is moving or, or progress bar. And if I hover over this area, we can see the beginnings of that dragon coming in. So these are the frames that have been rendered and those are the ones that are showing up on our timeline. So what I'm gonna do is actually cancel this render because really I don't have my composite finished yet and I don't wanna use any unnecessary um, or any power that's not necessary to render this when I still have so much left to do. So by default, Nuke is set up to begin rendering anytime you are going to version up. Um, so I set this from version one to version two and it began rendering that. And you can see how we have 12% of that render completed. And this ends up generating a lot of files. Um, and so it also takes up some power for you to be able to render this on your main timeline here so that it's able to be scrubbed. So what I'd like to do is go into your preferences and turn off that feature so that it only renders when we tell it to render. So I'm gonna go to edit, preferences, and we're gonna go into your threads and processes. And right here where you see rendering, right now it says start background renders on a comp save or comp version change. So you could change it to a comp save or don't auto start background renders. And that's what I want. I don't want them to ever start on their own. I'm just gonna tell it when I'm ready for it to render. And I'll be showing you how to do that later on. So don't worry, you're not gonna miss out on any renders that you might need. Okay, so we'll come back to this too because we might wanna talk about this export renders functionality a little bit later. So I'll go ahead and say okay. And now let's go into that street level um, that is now our version two by double clicking. And there are our nodes. We are, have those available to us now. And um, now that we kind of understand this and we can see that uh, versioning that's available to us, we are gonna be able to work a lot better. So what I'll be doing is with you in each lesson that we make changes, we will save as a new comp. And then in our next lesson, we'll be starting out here in the sequence and we'll version up using that alt up arrow option that I showed you um, at the beginning of this lesson. So another thing you can do is right click and go to version and you can scan for versions or you can version up or version down or just go to the max version. So you might have three or four versions, um, and you might be on the first one, you can just choose max version, and that's gonna make sure that you go to version two, um, or whatever the max version in your case may be. So, um, also hitting scan for versions, it says found zero new versions because I haven't saved it again since we are in the max version. So that's also another way if you're not sure, you know, did one of my artists make me a new version? Um, I don't know. That's a way to check if you're looking at this in the sequence view. 
Okay, so now that we know a little bit more about versioning, we're going to move on to our next lesson where we'll be creating camera shake and adding to our overall composite here in that street level view. So stick around and we'll be working on that in our next lesson.